uh, Dr. Young uh, Tech Kim. Dr. Kim was Assistant Professor of Practice in Packaging Systems and Design at Virginia Tech. And Professor of Practice is a little bit different than someone who has considerable skill and previous work in uh, their particular field. And uh, Young Tech was working at uh, Clemson for uh, several uh, years. And so it does bring a lot of uh, skill and knowledge to this particular uh, manufacturing area. More recently, um, Young Tech has been working with bioplastics manufacturer SK Chemicals. SK Chemicals is a Korean manufacturer, a huge conglomerate of uh, manufacturing pieces. So if SK Chemicals shows a keen interest in uh, bioplastics, people must think it's a worthwhile area uh, to uh, pursue. So today, uh, Young Tech is going to talk to us, and we have been working and collaborating with Young Tech, and we're going to start a new program here in the, in the new year, and Young Tech will have a postdoc research scientist based here at ILR to work with our polymer and chemist team, and that's the beginning of expanding that program uh, so that we can not only do research, but also service the interests of our local plastic manufacturers. So with that, I'll hand over to uh, the Young Tech, and um, we'll listen to what he has to say and have a discussion afterwards. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you, Ria, for introducing uh, me. Uh, I saw it's a small meeting, so, <laughs> but I realized it's a big meeting. So. <clears throat> anyway, uh, today I'd like to make a presentation about the, the bioplastic, how to wear it, and what's the good application of, of all bioplastic. Last night, I realized I have only 20 minutes for presentation, but I picture 58 slides. <laughs> I don't know, I can finish my presentation or not. But I will just skip some slides. So if you have any questions uh, about the, the slide, please you, know, you can ask me by email or by phone. Also, I will, I will be glad to be in a business card here. You can take my business card <laughs> after presentation is over. OK, uh, I will introduce the budget packaging program. Also, I will briefly introduce our packaging work, and finally, I will introduce uh, the case study uh, which I did with uh, the packing industry. Uh, this one. I came from Blackbrook. I'm on the faculty of uh, the Virginia Tech uh, Packing Program. Uh, we have great uh, the center, the packing center. We are working in the area of not only plastic, also other area of uh, packaging, such as uh, distribution and transportation and even market here. So I'm an assistant professor of practice. It's a really rare position in uh, Virginia Tech. Only six faculty are in this area, in this, uh, in this position. I have three major the, the, the expertise. Uh, one is in uh, bioplastic itself. First, it's, it, is, it is under the sustainable packing material uh, category. Also, I have another the, the technology uh, in the area of uh, biosensor. Biosensor means uh, a small device uh, to determine uh, the diffusion or permeation or migration of functional or toxic agent. So I have several patents in this area. Also, the food packaging is my major the, the, uh, major interest in research. I have several ongoing projects, those are all related to sustainable packaging, material, and system by evaluation, something like that. So fast, right? <laughs> because I have to finish 58 slides. <laughs> <laughs> packaging is composed of not only material, it is composed of people and artistic design and environment concerns and technology such as uh, science and engineering. Those are or uh, under the, the packaging uh, category. So it is related to FDA and USDA and even EPA. Best example is FDA. 
FDA uh, regulate uh, detection material as an indirect food contact material. It means it's considered one of food categories. So because of that, the safety and functionality is very important in, uh, in uh, food packaging field. Uh, as I told you already, packaging is really broad. Material, including material, and the, the, the product, converted product from the material, and transportation, and productization. Productization is also very important. Those are all connected. I'm going to skip this one. In the United States, lots of packaging industries uh, in the United States. For example, uh, in Virginia, uh, we have uh, the Midwest record in Richmond, and Pipac and Williamsburg, and many uh, major companies uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Virginia. So those are all under the, the, the packaging category. Uh, globally, the uh, packaging industry is around $420 billion size. In the United States, around $120 billion size. It's a huge. The third largest industry in the, in the United States. I'm going to skip this one. Okay, bioplastic and packaging. Some people are thinking bioplastic <coughs> is always good, but in my mind, it's not true. Bioplastic is case by case. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's really bad. So it's basically it's made out of uh, biomass and biomaterial. There are two major categories. Here, uh, I don't want to talk about biopolymer. Biopolymer is a touch screen. Uh, if you want to see by touch it, it's going to the next slide. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is a biopolymer. Biopolymer is also considered as bioplastic. But meaning, bioplastic means lack of plastic, real plastic, such as PLA or PHA or something like that. Also, the other category is bio-based uh, polymer. Bio-based polymer means it is made out of biomass and biomaterial, but it's just like uh, plastic. So the best example is bio-PE. If you go to the grocery, you can see some uh, sh uh, shampoo uh, bottle made out of bio-PE. It, uh, it is containing up to 80% or 60% of bio-PE. Another good example is Coca-Cola plant bottle. It is made out of bio-based PET. They called, uh, called it as a uh, plant bottle. So it is also the, the one of bio plastic area. By the regulation, by the definition, not definition, uh, suggestion from USDA, over than 25% of uh, biomass or bio component, that product is uh, considered as a uh, bio plastic system. Uh, to meet the, the industrial the success. Bioplastic should have functionality, such as uh, thermal stability or gas permeability. Also, processability should be good. The cycle time should be same or better than plastic. And regulation, if there is some regulation, it will be very helpful to promote uh, bioplastic in the market. And Recyclability is another key issue for bioplastic to be succeed in the area of uh, packaging area, uh, packaging field. Bioplastic, like a bio P and bio P T, it meet all the basic the criteria, criteria. But price is a real big problem. It doesn't meet that. Uh, that, that criteria. Price, all, all the industry wants to save even one cent. So because of that, new technology or advanced technology is required to resolve that issue. That's a key issue. If I go to industry, they are pretty much interested in bioplastic. Finally, oh, that's very good. How much is it? Twice expensive than normal plastic. Hey, never mind. 
That's the, the common trend whenever I visit him to industry. So because of that, I want to provide alternative technology using bioplastics. Bioplastics is good, right? Because it is increasing sustainability. There's no doubt about that. I'll skip this one. Oh, this is okay. All right. If you, uh, the, in the landfill area, around 30% is made, uh, made, uh, came from the packing field. The mostly, the plastic, this part. Paper and paper boards are recycled very well. After up to 50% or 60%, it uh, is depending on the country. Touch the screen. Yeah, I didn't see it. But plastic is there. Yeah. <laughs> Recyclability of plastic is not good. That means it is going to a landfill. So to increase sustainability, that's the reason why bioplastic is, is suggested. It's very hard to separate uh, or uh, collect uh, plastic uh, material from the normal the trash or waste. So because of that, plastic, bioplastic systems would be uh, appropriate to to increase sustainability. As I told you already, the bio-based and biodegradable compostable. It's a case by case. Some product is good at biodegradable area. Some product is good at compostable area. Generally, biodegradable or compostable doesn't meet one specific category, the, the criteria is permeability, especially water vapor permeability uh, is really bad. Because of that, it is not used liquid product. For example, Coca-Cola can't be uh, stored at the biodegradable polymer. The most common biodegradable polymer is polylactic acid made by nature. Actually, they, I worked with nature works for, uh, for three years for my project. I try to increase the, their, the, their property, but I found some other technology, but it's really expensive to resolve the issue. Because of that, the alternative material, bio-based polymer, such as bio-P and or bio-PET, just uh, introduced. So again, it's a case by case. Some product is good for biodegradable, some product it is good under the, under the, the compostable uh, properties. I'll skip this one. In the world, there are large uh, manufacturer, manufacturers producing uh, the bio based or bio plastic uh, materials. They are expecting, I got this slide from uh, Jim, uh, Jim Long. He's a, the former developer of, of uh, the NatureWorks uh, Nature PLA. He said uh, the, in the future, there is a large, uh, large of opportunity uh, in bioplastic. But so far, as I told you already, this is not a big market. OK, case study. That's what you know, I want to do uh, today. I worked with uh, the SK Chemical, uh, who is a uh, number of three companies in the world, uh, in, the, in Korea, uh, and they are uh, they are manufacturers. Uh, they are manufacturer of uh, second generation of PLA and uh, another bio-based uh, bio-based polymer called as Ecosin. So those are uh, made out of bio component or bio material. Second generation PLA, I put some sample here. This is a cup, just keep a baby cup. And this is a cosmetic casing. This one. And this one, just compare this one. One is this one, which is that, uh, somehow clear one. This one is uh, made uh, of uh, the normal uh, PLA. Uh, nature of PLA, and this one is the second made out of second generation PLA. They changed the, the polymer structure uh, uh, 
uh, of uh, PLA. They added a uh, very acid component into the, the into the PLA structure. That means it is going to be uh, more flexible than PLA. They clearly reserve uh, that uh, some problem of uh, bioplastic. But again, it is very expensive. <laughs> and the other, the cup, those are also uh, made out of uh, uh, PLA. It is good, but again, uh, barrier property is not provided. That's barrier property. So because of that, I uh, worked with them to, to find uh, another the application of uh, bioplastic. As I told you, they are manufacturer of bio-based plastic. We call that bio-polyester. It is containing around uh, 25 to 30% of the biomass. Actually, we call that inositol. It is containing, uh, it is uh, using biomass as a normal. Looks like uh, it's a looking glass bottle, right? The transparency is really good. Cool. No, it's not PLA. Biopopolyester. It's made up kind of uh, IOP. Kind of IOP. We, we made that together uh, and tested it. It's really good in terms of transparency. Just like glass, right? In terms of the anti scratching uh, the pastry, it's really good. In terms of gas barrier property, there's no issue about oxygen barrier property and water barrier, water permeability. Actually, it's better than normal P uh, PET or uh, the plant bar, but cooler PET. This one is another example uh, for bio PET, uh, bio polyester acquisition. It is uh, it is made uh, made from multi layer uh, multi layer technology. Outside layer is uh, is composed of uh, normal normal uh, PE, and the other side inside is uh, coated. Uh, actually, one uh, in internal layer is acquisition. The flexibility is good, and there is no issue, um, no issue uh, in all the all the industrial uh, uh, criteria. Okay, Equin, Equin has uh, large advantages compared to uh, normal uh, bioplastic and also other type of bio PET. So we try to uh, use a uh, bio polyester acquisition, bio P, kind of bio P, not bio P, because the structure is different. Uh, and we try to use uh, the, this material for the flexible area, flexible packaging area, and rigid packaging area. These are the examples of rigid packaging area example. It has really good high HDT. Uh, HDT stands for heat deflection or heat uh, deformation temperature. One, <laughs> one uh, major drawback is the advantage of bioplastic, like PLA. It has really low HDT, around 60 degrees Celsius, less than 60. Industrial standard for HDT is around 65 degrees Celsius. So that product should uh, bioplastic, more bioplastic uh, product doesn't meet HDT criteria. But Equisin uh, is okay up to 110 degrees Celsius. I'm working, still working with them to increase uh, this HDT number up to 121 degrees Celsius. Do you know why I'm trying to increase HDT up to 121 degrees Celsius? Correct. He's one of my two scientists, right? <laughs> <laughs> Most of them can, well, literally. 
uh, product is uh, made in the condition uh, what's that? 121 degrees Celsius condition for 15 minutes with high pressure. So product should be okay against uh, this condition. So far, only poly propylene is okay. But we want to replace poly propylene with the acrogen because acrogen has high transparency compared to poly propylene. Poly propylene, what's the color of poly propylene? White, the haze, right? So, yeah, it's good for some product, but if product needs higher the transparency, it is not good. For another, another example is the microwave, uh, microwaveable uh, instant food. Most uh, microwaveable instant food packaging system is made out of polypropylene because of uh, HDP. But it's a really hate or black, white or black color. Those are major the color of microwaveable product. We want to uh, introduce this material to replace polypropylene in the area of uh, microwaveable uh, product market. That's the, our the, the, the concept. Also, this is made out of, this is, composed, this is containing uh, up to 30% the bio the component. It means we can increase, we are increasing the sustainability. Also, durability is really good. Uh, I will show you some pictures later on uh, where we uh, apply this material. Uh, so. And there is also big uh, market uh, demand. In the world, there are two, uh, two uh, company, uh, there are two companies manufacturing uh, this kind of material. One is uh, Istma. Istma is producing uh, uh, PTG uh, or PTG uh, derivatives. And SK Chemical, uh, they are also manufacturing PTG plus uh, this kind of uh, bioplastic. They are big competitors. Uh, especially heat resistance, as I told you already, it is, uh, it is uh, okay up to uh, 110 according to the grade of uh, uh, ecosystem. Uh, PET, normally PET uh, HDT is around 70, maximum 80. 80 degrees, 80 degrees Celsius is maximum temperature for PET. And processability. Even the recycle, uh, the cyclic, uh, is low than polycarbonate PC and very close to the, the PET. And the, some other the, the property is, is over than, is better than other plastic or any similar. Uh, this uh, data is showing uh, the oxygen permeability. Comparing to polyolefin uh, plastic, like polypropylene and P, uh, polypropylene or P, PE, there the oxygen permeability uh, they are really poor in, in plastic area. But acrosin, because it is a uh, polyester, it is a poor polyester, polyester generally oxygen permeability is better than uh, polyolefin. So that means this product can provide uh, uh, large of functionality uh, to, uh, to replace fully olefin uh, product market. And impact strength and flexural uh, modulus is, uh, is very good. This is the example of where we applied uh, the acrosin in a uh, packaging area. Uh, this is a rice, okay? This is a rice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is a rice. We, we cooked rice and stored uh, that rice into two different types of uh, the, the, the container. One is made out of uh, the acrosin, the other one is made out of the, the polycarbonate. Acrosin has better oxygen barrier part. They mean low uh, oxygen permeability. Because of that, the 
the oxidation uh, of a product was reduced significantly. Can you see the different color, different color here? Actually, this is the yellowish color, and this is the white color after three days. Are you familiar with kimchi? Yes. Yeah, kimchi is a Korean traditional the spice, the, the vegetable the food. It has a red pepper inside. Red pepper uh, is killing the, 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 the light kind of normal plastic because once we throw kimchi into plastic container, the steam happens a lot. Not only not only kishi, other plastic has the same issue. Ecosin uh, has, has, uh, doesn't have that problem. This is the, the, the beauty of the biopolyester. Uh, we, 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 we watch that. We, we use PC, not only PC, and we also use PP and ADS. Before and after, you can see the big difference uh, between before and after the, the treatment with kimchi for 30 days. There is no change. Actually, there is a little change, but <laughs> it's a way lower than other other polymer. We also try. Uh, we also test it with a lemon, uh, lemon the, 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 the flavor. It's a orange extract. It's ABF, PMMA, and PC, and another two different types of acrocin. Acrocin wasn't degraded or wasn't affected by the lemon uh, the flavor. Especially the good application of this, uh, this, this property is most of our orange juice uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is sold, uh, what's that? The paper curtain packaging system, right? Inside is uh, coat, uh, inside is, uh, is coated with the PE, and we have the one gallon jar, the HDPE jar. So maybe Ecosen can replace uh, that, you know, that food application as well. Also, we check the thermal shop. We apply our material. For microwave system, we use the same the cup which I you know, showed you. This cup. After what's that? The, the using the microwave. This is the coffee. Then we just you know, the, the the cool it down quickly. Then check the the, the, the uh, what's that? Visual or uh, visual visual thing and. Polarized uh, light inspection. There is no, there is little change, but it wasn't uh, significant. If you look at, if you see the polypropylene product, there is a big the change before and after microwave over uh, treatment. Also, we 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 the, we tested uh, multi-layer structure because again, acquisition is that. Frankly speaking, it is expensive. So we have to reduce the, the amount of acquisition. Because of that, we try to combine uh, existing plastic plus uh, acquisition. Uh, we made uh, the, the sheet made out of uh, uh, acquisition, PET, PET, and PET, and another acquisition. We try to develop the thickness. This is the APEC. The shielding is the APEC. Over then, at uh, around the seven, is uh, it increased a lot. The shielding is happening. But after combination with uh, acrocin, small quantity, 118 1, even 118 1 uh, ratio, it was very helpful to, to make make the system stay <coughs> against uh, heat treatment. Any question? Actually, it is a really, very, really important area for industry. They are looking at different technology, how to solve the price issue. <coughs>
This is the example to resolve the price issue. We, are, we can use existing material, plastic material, but multi-layer technology could be a solution to, to overcome the price issue. Right? So we applied our materials. Actually, I worked for them for over the one year to find nice in the application. One application is the, the oil container. It's clear. So generally, it is made out of PVC or the, the HDPE. It was, it was okay. Also, even, even, even orange juice bar. Uh, if you go to uh, the Chick-fil-A, they are, they are purchasing the orange juice or lemonade from, from many food manufacturer. Look, uh, that, uh, that, that you know, uh, product is contained in, in this shape of uh, the packing uh, the system. So we contacted the chip play together and hey, look at this. We have very you know, good uh, the anti staining uh, the property uh, against uh, lemonade or orange juice. So they are pretty much interested in this technology. So we are communicating for developing new uh, project to develop a uh, new, uh, new product. Another example is uh, the, in general industry. If you go to the Best Buy, you can see the Samsung TV, right? The neck, the neck point is clear uh, the neck system they apply. That is made out of uh, everything. Actually, before I you know, stepped in their project, they already found this application. And, and this one was that, the, the, the cell phone caging, uh, Samsung cell phone caging, some model uh, are using the action. So I you know, tried to use uh, the material for food system and container. So even the, the shrinking uh, the wrap for secondary packaging system is OK, especially uh, very you know, the, the nice, uh, very you know, weird shape uh, packing product, like uh, the, 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 the drink. It is OK for uh, that kind of you know, product. And the, what's the sports water bottle, the reason why we apply this material for sports water bottle is, like a couple of years ago, most sports water bottle is uh, are made out of, you know, do you know the material? Or PC. But big, there, are, there, are, there are big issues related to PC, PPA, right? It, PC is made uh, uh, out of the PPA movement. Because of that, EPA could be released from, from the packaging system. So we want to replace that, you know, that uh, PC material with action. It works very well. And, but we have to change uh, the, the mold because the PC mold and PC mold is different from action mold. So the company who uh, produce uh, that water bottle, they, they change it the mold and they are you know, they making uh, Epicent based uh, BPA free uh, water bar. And even container, the food container, was a major application which we found together. So we can see this product from the market right now. But some companies are using uh, Eastman product, and some companies are using uh, SK Chemical product. But you can see clear mark BPA free in plastic. This is not PC, it's uh, uh, made out of uh, Eastman uh, PETG or uh, SK Chemical X. Uh, actually, I, I expected the meeting uh, with only IEAR people, <laughs> so it's not related to uh, this meeting. Uh, any question? Yeah? I'm not sure I understand. Sure. The Ecozen is basically Margaret. Mm -hmm. And a snow bomb. Yeah, copper. Yeah. Um, Not PET, okay. different structure. Well, yeah, copper polyester. Yeah, copper polyester. PET is also called uh, polyester, but uh, the accent had another component. Bio, bio, 
component in the structure because of that we call co-polyester. Yeah. Yeah, because of that bio component, it provides unique properties. Actually, that's a really big, a really big secret of the state <laughs> center. But if you search patent, you can see the, the component name. But I don't want to say the name. It's very easy, the component. So it's, it is derived from biomass, normal biomass. You know what? The funny thing is that monomer is uh, produced by Eastman. Eastman is uh, the supply that monomer to SK chemical, and SK chemical is producing another type of uh, biopropolis. If you have any question about PLA, please ask me. I didn't include PLA in this uh, presentation because yeah, I have a lot of expertise in PLA. I, I said the clarity of Of, uh, of what? Of the of the, the PLA or what? The the third glass the other. Yeah, But some portion is, uh, is uh, it has some crystallinity inside. Yes. We, we can control the crystal degree of crystallinity uh, based on the heat treatment. Yeah. That's what he said. If you are familiar with that you know, technology. We can apply some plastic technology uh, into this material. We change it, uh, the, the cooling rate of the, the product. Also, we change the mold shape and type. Then we could uh, apply our material uh, for the specific uh, application, specific product. Any other questions? Thank you. 